Hi all. Today I'm going to show you how to put in some elastic uh, on your armrests. Now um, I'm just recycling some elastic that came off a pair of socks and uh, I cut them off the socks and then I cut them individually so that they were no longer loops and now I'm going to sew them together so it'll be one big loop. So I'm not a master seamstress. I'm not doing anything special. I'm basically doing a whip stitch on one side along the edge and I flip it and then um, I do a whip stitch on the other side. I just make sure it's, you know, stretched a little bit and, and then I just whip stitch it on the other side. And that's only just to make it strong enough to hold. Um, this is just the knitted uh, elastic tops of a pair of socks. So it's nothing fancy. Uh, you could use store-bought elastic if you like. Um, but I just found it better to you know, recycle things instead of sending them to the landfill. I was going to cut these off the top of my socks anyway because they were too tight for my, uh, my ankles. And I do it on the other side as well so that it's now a loop instead of um, just a long strip of elastic. And I, I made sure that it would stretch over the handles uh, of the armrests um, just to make sure. So yeah, this will fit over my armrest. And you can do that by just taking one half of it and stretching it. And if it's the, um, the length, which is 10 inches here, it will, uh, it will stretch. So now I'm just putting a slip knot um, on the end of the, the yarn. I put it through the elastic loop, and then I put the slip knot onto my uh, hook. And then I'm just going to fasten it onto the armrest cover. So now I'm going to just do single crochet over this um, recycled elastic so that I'll have a stretchy um, armrest cover that will hold a little bit onto the arm and won't slide around while I'm working during the day. I mean, it already is pretty fitted, form fitted, but I'm just going to go ahead and Put this little bit of elastic in just as a little extra assurance that it'll stay put. Now you don't have to fold the elastic, but it just seems to naturally want to do that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just letting it, letting it fold. It can twist inside the pocket of the crochet. Uh, it can, you know just as long as it fits and it slides through. And I just, every now and then I just give a little stretch just to see, you know, how it's going to look. And I, I go all the way around and, you know, periodically I have to kind of stretch it out and let it snap back so that I have enough room to crochet uh, the stitches because it'll, it starts to get tight towards the end. You see how it bunches up a little bit. But that's what we want. We want it to get a little bit snug around the opening and so then I put my crochet hook through the first top of the stitch versus that um, slip stitch that I put on the uh, the hook just to attach it to the rest of the, the project and then of course I go through and do a lot of stretching to get it to kind of even out a little bit because it can be bunchy in some places the other thing is uh, when I do um, my uh, yarn end hiding, when I hide the yarn ends, I sew them in, I don't go across the project because if it's a stretchy project and you stretch it, the yarn will start to slide. And especially something slippery like um, Caron Simply Soft, is it's just a mess. It just starts to unravel and the, the ends come out. So I don't generally go side to side. I go up and down on the project so that when it stretches 
it's not pulling on those um, hidden yarn tails. You just don't want them to come out eventually. Now this top one, I had I had to specifically hide it a special way. So I hid the top of the stitch and then behind two of the stitches. And I didn't want to go into the same column as the previous um, yarn tail. So I went over to the left one. And also before I started really anchoring it down, I wanted to make sure it was loose enough to keep that pocket shape around the uh, back half of the elastic pocket. I just didn't want it to, to be pinched. I wanted it to match. Um, so those are some of the things I was thinking about when I was hiding my tails specifically for this project because it has a give and a stretch in a certain direction. And um, I did it three times for the last one just to uh, just to make sure that they they were well secured. And now that it's complete, you just give it a good stretch and and give the uh, the yarn a chance to be evenly distributed across the top. Um, I chose black elastic because it matched my uh, chair. So that's another consideration is you want to make sure that you're using something that will match her chair um, because it's going to gap and you will see it. Um, the um, cushion video was another video so if you wanted to see how I, I made that uh, out of Prime Amazon uh, bubble mailers you can um, see the link below in the description box and take a look um, I also have the first video in this three-part video series that shows you how to actually make the the crocheted um, armrest cover itself and how to measure that and to make it snug. So here is our completed project after three videos, three short videos, I might add. So this is a very easy project. You could probably get this done in a weekend. So please give it a try. If you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate. Give me a shout out in the comments if you need any help. I'm on Facebook, so uh, please connect with me and um, enjoy taking some scraps and things that would normally go in the landfill and turn them into something useful and it'll make your your day a little bit happier. Please like and subscribe and check out my link tree. I have lots of different places I post. Thanks for watching Crochet Your Way Today with Tina.